Hey guys, many of you are probably already familiar with the band called Wolfpack. In this video I'm going to look at why they're one of the first and arguably one of the biggest bands that became famous solely on YouTube, what stood behind their success and much more. A bit of a spoiler, as you could tell from the title, it's not gonna have to do so much with their music, but more so with their marketing. I often say keep it funky in the end of my videos, and this is a bit of a play on words, because we can take funky as the style of music, and also funky can be expression for something out of ordinary, something a little bit wacky and weird. I thought, what's the best example of this? And I immediately thought of Wolfpack. So for those of you who don't know, Wolfpack formed around University of Michigan School of Music. It was around 2011 when they first formally got together. And the core members are Jack Stratton, Theo Katzman, Woody Goes, Joe Dart, and Corey Wong. Honestly, I could probably make separate videos about each and every one of them. That's how unique and that's how brilliant they are on their own. And Wolfpack are one of these unique groups that managed to combine very strong different individualities together in a way that they are lift each other up rather than try to pull each other down. Sort of like Beatles, they were also very strong characters, but rather than fighting among themselves, they could embrace each other. Today I will look at something that tends to be overlooked amongst musicians and sometimes even neglected and looked badly at and that is marketing. As I was going through interviews with different members of the group, with Theo Katzman, Corey Wong, etc, I would hear them commonly point out Jack Stratton as a mastermind behind it all. And Jack Stratton is this sort of quiet character. He does many things at, this, at the performances. He plays drums, he plays guitar, he does a bit of everything, but you don't tend to think of him as a frontman because he always stands in the background and he knows how to let other people shine. And this is something really brilliant and exceptional about him. He managed to create sort of a face of the band, starting from the old school vintage videos, the video ideas presenting all different kinds of grooves and musical elements with sense of humor, all the way to how they're dressed, their sort of sportsy sweatpants and jackets and jumpers. It's really fun to watch. And somehow, Jack is so brilliant that he managed to put it all together in a way that it's coherent. Point here being simply, through experience, through, through trying out different things, learning how to work with new social media at that time, it was YouTube, how to approach them with a sense of creativity, how to try to use them in a new way. One example of this would be when they released an album of tracks that were just pure silence on Spotify, and then encourage their audience to listen to them at night so they can raise money for their album. As you can see here, the album is called Sleepify. The songs are This is just a brilliant way of engaging audience with humor. There's a message behind it. There's a little bit of rebellion against those big platforms. They challenge the status quo and there's definitely a lot of funk into the way they create their marketing. Jack is a great mastermind that stands behind a lot of this stuff. If you go on Wolfpack's YouTube and sort their videos by the oldest, let's do it now actually. I'll, I'm going to switch to this view. Let's go to their site. You sort here by oldest and try and watch some of their old videos. You see how Jack experimented. Here, 13 years ago, they had, there's a session with Theo Katzman. Mm, all sorts of different visual ways of representing groove and representing music. Extreme tapping. Then I remember there was a video out here, Sound of Two. Let's actually watch this one. So what you're listening wow. to is something that has been done in churches for years. And it goes, can't Hi. nobody Whoa. do that yeah. Jesus well, the sound. can't nobody do well, the like the Lord. The I had instead of the big symbol. So this is brilliant, right? So so here's the one video of, it, of the drummer. I, I, I believe that's this guy, Bernard. Bernard Purdy explaining something about the groove, and then there is this Ethel Cafe Austin, uh, who and she's playing a piano, and they put them together in a way that it works. And they've done a bunch of these. I, I th when I first saw it, I thought it was brilliant. They call it the Sound of Two. Not even their original music yet, but brilliant way of exploring the media. And all of this is basically just Jack building his skill uh, of social media and marketing. A lot of the times, marketing can be almost a swear word in music industry or among musicians. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that selling out, that trying to manipulate people to get them buy a thing. It can be creative. It can be viewed as communication with the audience, trying to tell a story about 
who you are, what you do, and why should people care about you. And a lot of the times, let's say the why people should care about you, you don't even have to say it. It can be implicit by the humor, by the energy you give out, and playfulness and the humor that people can pick up and that attracts them to you. But it's important to be thoughtful of this and be more holistic in terms of the thinking, what does it mean to be an artist? I remember this this was Jacob Collier interview. I remember him saying how he doesn't think of music being separate from you know, the other elements of music industry, technology, marketing, money, and these other things, because to him is only extension of the music. And the music wouldn't be what it is without it. I think artists need to start viewing music in this way, not separate from the money business issues and marketing. It can be done playfully. I think musicians sometimes can be threatened by money and business taking the soul out of music. And I believe that music have to come first, but these other things around it are the are very necessary and important part. And it, it can be done better. It can be done with playfulness and with creativity rather than uh, as necessary evil and viewing it as something inherently bad. So in conclusion, Wolfpack are obviously talented musicians who are great at playing, great at composing and performing. But all of that would come for nothing without the brilliant mastermind of Jack Stratton, who coherently could create the face, could create the brand of the band as we know it today. That's why they could get as far as selling out Madison Square Garden and playing the biggest possible gigs we can imagine as a simple band from YouTube. Thanks for watching to all of you. I hope this was helpful to some and I hope it inspired you to think of yourself as an artist, if you're an artist, um, more holistically, not only as a craftsman and creator of that music piece, but also communicator, marketer, business person, etc. The technology made it possible for us to do a bunch of things we couldn't before or wouldn't have capacity for. But as everyone has the same options, it almost becomes a requirement now. So I hope this video inspired you to work on your marketing and social media skills and make it more part of what you do as an artist. Or if you're not a musician or an artist, I hope this was interesting for you anyways. In the end of the day, so we can apply these principles on other areas of our lives. Even presenting yourself on social media like LinkedIn, it's in a way sort of marketing yourself on the job market. Anyways, this is all from me. Please subscribe, leave your thoughts below. Check the description, there is a free PDF, it's called Musicians Limiting Belief Checklist and it can help you to go through limiting beliefs that I found currently common among musicians and maybe you hold some of them so you can start working through them on yourself and if this wasn't enough you can book a free consultation with me and we can try and figure out how to help you through one-on-one -on -one coaching. See you in the next one and as always keep it funky.